next speaker, our eighth presenter tonight, is a host by day, host by night. So you're already trying to replace me. <laughs> Whether it is radio or live events, she believes in the art of hosting and the power of sharing our lived experiences and personal narratives. Please welcome Priscilla Cherry. <laughs> And Benjamin for setting me up wherever you are. Love, yeah, right on. Okay, this is what I do before I go on air. Don't mind me, you're sorry, we're here together. We're united, right? So just, <laughs> exactly, exactly, okay. Are you, are you guys ready, should I press this? Yeah. Okay. No, 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 no. Oh, wait, okay, 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 let's go, let's go. <laughs> One quality people say that they appreciate most about me is my optimism. Some say that even my smile has its own smile. Today, we're putting an end to that immediately. Yeah, no, I, guys, I'm tired of being an optimist, okay? It's tiring, I don't, wanna, I don't wanna care anymore. I'm exhausted, I'm over it. Now, apart from these heart-shaped sunglasses in this picture, does this look like an optimistic face to you? No, I'm not sure if I have like a diaper wedgie or like I'm just trying to look cool, but this queer little mean mug and tiny tot is on a mission and soon she will grow up to define her own truth. When I think about what unity means to me, I think about the water in a glass analogy. Half full, half empty, I have ADHD, just pass it, I'm thirsty. As a recovering optimist, I have more questions than answers. Like what about therapists or activists? Where are their glasses? Through my curiosity, I discovered something new. I couldn't find a picture though, so I drew it for you. I am an allist. There is no glass. The water flows freely, just like we're supposed to be. No barriers, borders, boxes, or labels, only healthy boundaries, and our existence is enough, so we exist fluidly. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> now, as an allist who practices all-ism, in a metaphysical sense, we the allists believe in the existence of all possible entities, past or future things, and unactualized possibilities. As allists, everything is true because it's true for you. The earliest recorded knowledge about allism is by philosopher David Lewis from 1990. Allists are not to be mistaken as generalists, allistics, or anyone who doesn't identify with autism. If I were to write an allist formula for unity, it'd be curiosity multiplied by love, open to learning more than I want to instruct. If Unity were a person and I wrote it a letter, it'd be short and sweet like, Dear Unity, where have you been? My parents say the last time they saw you was at Woodstock with Mary Jane. Should we try that again? <laughs> I hope our paths cross soon. Curiosity and love could really use a friend. Your number one fan, Allist. If I were to become an Allist author and publish a book about what I believe unites us, the very first chapter would state, We can disagree and still love each other unless your disagreement is rooted in my oppression and denial of my humanity and right to exist. Woo! James Baldwin. <laughs> Every chapter after that would include different ways to practice. And I wouldn't even sell it. I'd gift the book at no extra cost, not stopping until every person, child, or educator had one. Master plan to intercept colonial conditioning activated. Whether it is an allist formula, letter, guidebook on unity, they'd all share reminders that it's actually cool to have feelings. This just in, it's cool to be kind to people. And even cooler to respect and accept all living beings. It's not uncool to want to be united. We'd throw our heart hands in the air like we just do care, while also being mindful that not everyone is able to do so. With all our newfound compassion and wisdom, we wouldn't treat anyone how we wanted to be treated. Instead, we'd ask them their needs and how they prefer to be represented. Now, love, inclusion, respect, and dignity are in the air, floating in harmony with our ancestors. Here is where we say a prayer. Release a balloon for every heart who didn't make it, every heart we might have judged or dismissed, or who we lost to injustice, oppression, and discrimination. In true allist fashion, though, we'd still be able to feel them, sharing our belief with non allists that everything is energy and how we're already in true harmony because we are nature. 
There's diversity in animals. Hey, even plants are bisexual. We're already one, but we imagine we're not. So it's our original unity we need to recover. Now, by this point of our journey, the skeptics and pessimists might have something to question or argue. That's when the artist will chime in with something whimsical like, unless someone like you cares a whole lot, nothing is going to get better. It's not Dr. Seuss. <laughs> and if a cartoon cat in a hat is still not convincing, as an allist, everything and one has purpose, so we'd consider the haters and naysayers. We'd thank them for their passion, validating that what we believe in even stronger. I might leave a little note, though, like, P.S., the hate you give is the hate you feel for yourself, so joke's on you, boo-boo. <laughs> we'd accept the reality that no matter what we say or do, as long as there are humans, the fight for equity and belonging will continue. We'd welcome every chosen ally and co-conspirator and anyone who understands that our behaviors don't change until our core beliefs change first. As an allist, I believe life is a spectrum, be it mental health, sexuality, or gender identity. Who are we to debate anyone's lived experience if they've lived and experienced it? Duh, like what? <laughs> the only boxes I'm checking or accepting are the ones I am self-decorating. You know what, I don't really miss being an optimist. And all this feels infinitely freeing. Dreaming of the day when debates on unity are mere moments in history. We'll be like, remember when we argued about our humanity? What were we thinking? <laughs> Cheersing pessimists and skeptics over tea and kikiing because we finally did it collectively. I don't have to be an optimist to keep smiling. As an allist, I'll cry when I'm happy, laugh when I'm nervous, unashamed to apologize when I'm wrong, or say, I love you, because how else will people know if you don't tell them? I think allism is a synonym for unity. The very instructions are in the word itself, U and I, T Y, thank you, like, right? <laughs> now, my girl T Fanny put this up earlier, but that's how united we are, girl, right? <laughs> so, in the words of Queen Latifah, feel free to sing along. U and I T Y, U and I T Y, U and I T Y, U and I T Y. That's the unity right there. That's an example. See, it's not that hard to get along. Thank you. <laughs>